A regular tetrahedron is uh, the simplest platonic solid and it's widely used in chemistry and in mathematics also. So let's see how to construct this. So we know these are the five platonic solids and these solids have very interesting properties. They are highly interconnected and uh, they have uh, some vertices, some number of vertices, let's call it V. For example, in a regular tetrahedron, the number of vertices is uh, 4. In uh, a cube, this one is a cube, this is the number of vertices uh, will be 8. And uh, in an octahedron, octahedron does not have 8 vertices, it has 8 faces, that's why its name is octahedron. The number of vertices here, as you can uh, think, is 1, 2, 3, 4th one is at the back side, 6, right? So they, they have different number of vertices, they have different number of faces, they have different number of edges. Let's think about edges. How many edges do we have here uh, in a regular tetrahedron? So edges, uh, as you can see here, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So number of edges will be 6. How many faces? Of course, four because it's a tetrahedron. How many uh, edges in an octahedron? So you can complete this figure. You only see the front view here. You can complete uh, the figure in three-dimensional way and then think about how many edges. So four on the top, four in the middle, four at the bottom. That will give you 12 edges. Okay, and how many faces? Of course, octahedron has eight faces. So how about the cube? Your, for the cube you have a uh, number of edges that would be 12 number of faces that would be 6 so take a look at this we have some of these very interesting numbers we have 4 as a number of vertices in regular tetrahedron and uh, the double of that is 8 and uh, we have a number 12 here which is half of uh, 6 and 6 is appearing here as the number of faces of a cube and also it's appearing as a number of uh, vertices of an octahedron and uh, it is also appearing here number of faces in an octahedron and it is also the number of vertices in a cube so there are some kind of connections uh, six six look at six number of edges in a tetrahedron number of vertices in uh, octahedron and number of faces six is appearing everywhere you see there is some kind of very interesting connection and we are just looking at the three simple simpler ones how about when we start looking uh, about uh, this icosahedron and uh, the dodecahedron how many things how many such properties will emerge well i leave it for you to think about and enjoy so today I will be talking about how to construct a regular tetrahedron. Regular tetrahedron, number of vertices 4, edges 6, and faces 4. Okay, fine. So how do we do that? Um, one very um, um, structuralist kind of an approach is like you go one by one, you make an equilateral triangle in uh, the xy plane. Let's say this is x and y axis. And then you take the centeroid and then you go a little bit up you calculate how much you will have to go up so that you if you join these three lines and they would be equal and also they would be equal to these lines the first uh, equilateral triangle which you made well this is like going uh, step by step in a structural way and you are not seeing some very interesting connection between the platonic solids so i would show you how to do this thing using a cube when you have a cube you have number of vertices eight and in a regular tetrahedron you have number of vertices 4 so you have to you have to give away half of the vertices of a cube and select only half of them in such a way that you can make a regular tetrahedron can it be done it can be done yes it can be done but you will have to be smart you will have to choose you can't choose these four vertices like this on one face only you will have to maybe try a different kind of a selection which is a completely symmetric because regular tetrahedron is completely symmetric and when you do such a kind of selection in which you you have a um, 
let's say on the, on the top face you choose this uh, vertically diagonally opposite vertices then on the bottom you use the another diagonally opposite vertices if you make your selection like that you can also see it from the left and right face suppose this is left and right face on the left face you use a diagonally opposite vertices like this and on the right face if you use diagonally uh, opposite vertices like this you are there and you have done a very symmetric selection and then when you join them you will get a regular tetrahedron okay um, and then when you have a regular tetrahedron and then let's say uh, say we want to make an octahedron from here so i can think about like the number of edges here how many edges do we have here uh, we have six edges right and in an octahedron the number of vertices was six how do we use this idea so we can choose uh, start choosing the midpoints of uh, the edges of the like, regular tetrahedron and start uh, joining them we will get six such points and if we join them look what we have got here we have got an octahedron how about if we we want to go back to the cube so we we have in an octahedron in an octahedron we have uh, um, eight faces and if I, I take the center of all these faces i feel like it will make a cube and let's see yep <laughs> So the, the, these numbers are highly interconnected and this, uh, this whole uh, geometry of uh, platonic solids is highly intriguing. intriguing. We are only looking at, uh, in this video we have only seen these, the first three platonic solids and I would like to think more about the other two also. Have fun.